Hello and welcome to Pharmaceutical Analysis Fund. In this video, we are going to discuss neutralization titration, that is acid-based titration. And the module is primary and secondary standard, preparation and standardization. Learning objective. After watching this video, you will be able to define primary and secondary standard. You will be able to know how primary and secondary standards are prepared, how secondary standards are standardized, and will be able to do calculation based upon primary and secondary standards. Neutralization titration. The reaction between acid and base is known as neutralization reaction. So acid reacts with base to form salt and water. When this reaction is quantified in terms of acid or base, then it is known as neutralization titration or acid-based titration. Here, stoichiometric quantity of an acid reacts with the base to produce a neutral solution at the equivalent point. Primary standard. A primary standard is a chemical or reagent which has certain properties such as easy to obtain, purify and can be preserved in pure state. They must be extremely pure and the impurities must not exceed 0.02%. They must be highly stable. They must not react with the environmental conditions like carbon dioxide, moisture, etc. They must be less hygroscopic in nature so that the weight changes must be minimized. They can be easily to weigh. They must have high relative molecular weights so that the weighing error will be negligible. They must be preferably non-toxic and ready to use, easily available and non-expensive in nature. These are some of the examples of the primary standards. Second standard. All those chemicals which does not fulfill the criteria of the primary standard falls under this category. They are less pure than the primary standard, they are less stable but more reactive than primary standard and they must be titrated against primary standard to know their exact concentration. These are some of the examples of secondary standards. Now, molar solution. Preparation of primary standards and secondary standards. First, we are going to discuss the primary standard and then we will move to the secondary standard. In acid-based titration, oxalic acid is one of the important primary standard which we are going to use for standardization of the bases. The molecular formula of oxalic acid is as given here and the molecular weight is 126.1. So, if we are going to dissolve 126.1 gram in 1000 ml of water, we are going to get one molar solution. Now, the final volume must not exceed 1000 ml. So, 126.1 gram must be dissolved in such quantity of water so that the final volume is up to 1000 ml. So, 12.61 gram of oxalic acid in 1000 ml is going to give us 0.1 molar solution. Similarly, in secondary standard, sodium hydroxide is taken and we are going to standardize sodium hydroxide with the help of oxalic acid. The molecular weight of sodium hydroxide is 40 gram per mole. So, 4 gram of NaOH in 1000 ml is going to give us 0.1 molar solution. Just remember, the final volume must be up to 1000 ml and must not exceed 1000 ml. Standardization. This is the reaction for the standardization. One mole of oxalic acid reacts with two mole of sodium hydroxide to give one mole of sodium oxalate and two mole of water. Therefore, one mole of oxalic acid reacts with two moles of sodium hydroxide by this equation. So, 1000 ml of zero, 1 molar oxalic acid is equivalent to 1000 ml of two molar NaOH solution. In other words, 1000 ml of one molar oxalic acid is equivalent to 2000 ml of one molar NaOH. Next one is normal solution. We are going to take same examples of the primary standard and secondary standard. I am going to see how the normal solution are being prepared. 
Here we are going to take oxalic acid and we are going to prepare 0.1 normal solution. Molecular formula, molecular weight is 126.1 and equivalent weight will be 126.1 by 2. That is 63.05. Why we have taken 2? Because the basicity of oxalic acid is 2. Basicity is nothing but the number of the replaceable hydrogen of oxalic acid. So, 63.05 gram of oxalic acid in 1000 ml is going to give us one normal solution. Similarly, 6.3 gram of oxalic acid in 1000 is going to give us 0.1 normal solution. So, from the previous equation and this equation, we came to know that two normal solution of oxalic acid is equal to one molar solution of oxalic acid. Coming to the second standard, sodium hydroxide separation, 0.1 normal solution. Here, the acidity, that is, the number of the replaceable hydroxyl group of sodium hydroxide is 1. So, the molecular weight is equivalent to the equivalent weight. And, therefore, molarity is equal to normality. So, 4 gram of NaOH in 1000 ml is going to give us 0.1 normal solution. So, 1 normal solution of sodium hydroxide is equal to 1 mole solution. Standardization. Now, already we have gone through this reaction. And from this reaction, we just came to know about this calculation that 1000 ml of 1 molar oxalic acid is equivalent to 1000 ml of 2 molar sodium hydroxide. Now, also we have seen that 2 normal solution of oxalic acid is equal to 1 molar solution of oxalic acid and 2 normal solution of sodium hydroxide is equal to 2 molar solution of NaOH. Now, here 1 molar and 2 molar, we are going to get this thing and here 2 normal and 2 normal. So, in other words, we can say that 1000 ml of 2 normal oxalic acid is equivalent to 1000 ml of 2 normal NaOH. So, in other words, 1000 ml of 1 normal oxalic acid is equivalent to 1000 ml of 1 normal NaOH solution. Now, this is a general calculation, general equation, S1 V1 equal to S2 V2, where S is the strength and V is the volume. S1 is the strength of the acid, V1 volume of the acid, S2 strength of the base and V2 is volume of the base. Let us take one example. Calculate the volume of 0.5 molar oxalic acid required to standardize 50 ml of 0.5 molar sodium hydroxide solution. Already from the previous equation and reaction, we came to know that 1 molar oxalic acid is equivalent to 2 molar sodium hydroxide solution. Therefore, 1000 ml of 2 molar sodium hydroxide solution is equivalent to 1000 ml of 1 molar oxalic acid. So, 1000 ml of 1 molar sodium hydroxide will be equivalent to 500 ml of 1 molar oxalic acid. 1000 divided by 2 is going to give us 5 molar. So, 1 ml of 1 molar sodium hydroxide will be equivalent to 0.5 ml of 1 molar oxalic acid. So, similarly in this particular manner, 50 ml of 0.5 molar NaOH will be equivalent to 25 ml of 0.5 molar oxalic acid. Here there is no change in the molar on both sides. The only change will be in the volume because already we came to know that twice of sodium hydroxide is required to neutralize one volume of oxalic acid. Now coming to the same equation but we are going to discuss it in different manner. So, 1000 ml of 2 molar NaOH is equivalent to 1000 ml of 1 molar oxalic acid. In other words, 2000 ml of 1 molar NaOH is equivalent to 1000 ml of 1 molar oxalic acid. So, two volume of base into strength is equivalent to one volume of acid into its strength. Therefore, the volume one volume of base multiplied by the strength is equivalent to half volume of acid 
multiplied by strength. Therefore, just putting this component in this formula, 50 ml of 0 0.5 molar NaOH will be equivalent to 50 by 2 25 ml of 0 0.5 molar oxalic acid. So, 25 ml of 0.5 molar oxalic acid is required to synthesize 50 ml of 0 0.5 molar sodium hydroxide solution. Now, I hope so you have enjoyed this video and there are some assignments for you and before coming to the class, please submit the assignment. The question for the assignments are, what is neutralization titration? Define primary and secondary standard. Write down the reaction of standardization of sodium hydroxide solution. And calculate the volume of 0.1 normal oxalic acid required to standardize 200 ml of 0.2 normal sodium hydroxide solution. Thank you very much.